good afternoon. It's been a long time since I've done a floss tube, but I decided with Stitch Mania it was time to do another one. Um, you're on the Creating with Cindy channels. I do um, videos of cross stitch and of stamping, so I do both of those. Um, but today is floss tube number seven. It's May 1st, 2020. Um, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so it's hard to get out and get stuff. Um, but I have plenty of um, works in progress. I am doing something a little different than probably a lot of people are doing for Stitch Mania. I am not starting 15 new things. I have too many whips already, um, but I am gonna start one new project each Friday. I'd seen somebody else posted they were doing that. There's five Fridays in May, um, and they're gonna start one each Friday, so that's what I decided to do. But I'm kind of doing a, a, a little bit of a variation on what Priscilla, Priscilla and Chelsea do where they have Witchy Wednesday and I forget what all the others are, Santa Sunday and, um, but I've kind of changed those up to be my own. Um, on the Little House and Country Cottage Facebook group, they're doing Sampler Sunday. So my Sunday is Sampler Sunday and I've been working on the Little House um, ABC samplers. This is the second one. So I have the the first one is done, the AB one, ABC one, and now I'm working on the DE. So I'm just working on this on Sundays, um, and it's it's going pretty quickly. Okay, now I'm, I've got so much stuff on my table, I'm trying to figure out where to put things once I've shown them. All right, and I tried to get everything opened up so there wouldn't be any of this loud opening up of bags or packages or anything. So for Monday, um, one of my favorite designers is Mirabilia. So I'm gonna do Mira Monday. So one of the ones I'm gonna be working on is this dressmaker's daughter. And this is one, what did I just do with my, oh yeah, my cardboard. I left it with the last one. This is one I have been working on for years and <laughs> off and on, obviously. Um, but this is this summer. This is the summer um, one. So lots and lots to go on this, but um, if you're familiar with Mirror Designs, they take a lot of work. They have a lot of beads, but they are absolutely gorgeous when you get them finished. So that one, and I don't think I brought with me, I'll have to show it next time, um, Red Lady Pirate is another one I've been working on. I have several others started, but those are the ones I've been actively working on. Okay, that's just the rest of that. All right, Tuesdays are gonna be a free day so I can work on whatever I want. And I've got some um, whips that, are, that aren't that are themed with any of these days so I can pull in one of those and work on them. Wednesdays, it's gonna be Wedding Wednesday. And if you've watched any of my floss tubes before, you've seen this. This is going to be eventually for my son and his wife. They got married last October. So obviously it did not get done in time for the wedding, but um, maybe by their first anniversary. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, that's when, Wednesday, wedding Wednesday. Thursdays, I'm looking at my cheat sheet to make sure I don't mess this up. Thursday's another free day. So like I said, I'll show you those after this. Fridays are new start or fall Friday. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll probably like start something in the afternoon. On Fridays, I usually only work until 11, so it gives me some extra time to stitch if I don't have anything else going on, which right now I don't. Um, so I'll probably start something new in the afternoon and then the evening when I'm watching TV with my husband, I can work on one of my fall projects. So one of the fall projects I've been working on off and on, this is Country Cottage Seasonal Celebrations. This is the autumn one trying to get it where you can see without the bad glare on there. I'm gonna have a decent start on it. The house and the stuff up above will take a little bit of time, but it's really fun. It's a cute one. I love Country Cottage and, and Little House both. <clears throat> but first, before I can work on that, I have to finish this. So this is, who is this by? Amaryllis Artworks, and it's a Halloween you make it into a, a ball, a Quaker ball type thing. And so I've been doing this um, 
through a class with my local needlework store, Shepherd's Needle, and we did, the last class we had was February, maybe, I can't remember. And so we were supposed to have as much stitched as we could, and I had three stitched, so which, the ghosts, and then the Happy Halloween, and then we started putting them together. <clears throat> we're supposed to have another class in May, um, we'll see. I don't know if that will happen or if they'll have it kind of split. But at that point, we're supposed to have it all stitched, all cut apart, and started to put together because in that class, we're going to stuff it. So I am almost done stitching it all. Oops. It's kind of big. All right. So there's a cat and some bats and a pumpkin. Then this one has, let me see if I can get that a little bit closer, you can see it, um, our name and the date. There's some bones. These are leg bones, I think, and maybe a pelvis. A raven. And then the last row is this spider and some candles and jars of frog legs and whatever else. And then this is the last square, so I just have to finish this square. And it has the rest of the skeleton bones. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the cover right here. So that's the last square I have to stitch. And then I have it all stitched. And then I'll have to start cutting it apart and sewing it back together. So that'll be fun though. And it'll be a really fun thing to have out um, in Halloween time when we get it all put together. So I'm really working on getting it all done so that when we go to our next class, whenever it is, I'm ready to stuff it and it'll be ready to put out. Okay, I will show you all the potential new starts. I haven't decided for sure exactly which ones. I know which one I'm starting today, but other than that, I don't know for sure. <clears throat> so I'll show you those at the very end. Um, so we'll skip the new start part of Friday and then Saturday is Santa Saturday. And you've probably seen a lot of people are working on this Kringles by Little House. It is so pretty. I've gotten two of the rooms done, working on some brickwork on the outside of them. Let me make sure you can see it. There you go. Uh, this one will take a while. It's, it's a big one and it'll take a while, but it is going to be beautiful um, when it's done. I have a couple of other whips, um, so if I get tired of working on that or if I just want to try and finish something up, I've got this patchwork deer. This is by Hands On Design. And I've got a lot of it done. So it may be that I decide to concentrate on it and get it finished. Because he's almost done. He's got some snow at the bottom that'll take some time. But other than that, um, there's not a lot left on him. And then the other one that I have in progress is by Little Dove and it's called Christmas Wishes. I don't know how to get, I'm trying to make sure that there's light, but not having it reflect like that. I haven't figured that out yet. And this one, let's see. Yeah, there's a couple of more um, rows, areas underneath what I've got done. So there's the top of it. And I love it on this, um, I forgot what they call this, but the polka dot fabric. Oh, I think it really is fun. And so I think it was this one. One of them had some snowflakes that you were supposed to um, stitch, some little white snowflakes, and I didn't even stitch them because with that fabric, I didn't need to. Okay, so that takes us through the week. Those are the different days I'm going to do things during the week. And then I said Tuesdays and Thursdays are free days. So one of the things that I can work on during my free days are these well-rounded. So it's a whole series. This is by Hands On Design. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. Winter, yeah, fall and winter. Autumn and winter. And I have done just the first one of the spring so far. So that's all I've completed. I've, this one's com completely done. The colors in them are beautiful. And then each of the fabrics, it has different colored fabrics. You can kind of see that in there. I don't want to take.
take it all out right now, but another time I can show you that. So that's one of the things I can do on my open days. Another one that I've been working on off and on that I can do on a free day is Glenfin's Place Plum Pudding. Purple is my favorite color, so I definitely wanted to do this one. And I finally had to mark with a thread the top of my pattern because I could never remember which way was the top. It may not matter other than just making sure your stitches all went the same way. But I bet I'm a halfway, maybe slightly over halfway done. And then there's some beautiful beads that will go on it too when it's done. So that's one I can pull in. All right, one more. So there's a, let me make sure. Um, linens and threads, I forget they're called Fox and something. But linens and threads, they have a mystery sampler every year. Beautiful samplers. Um, I've loved them. I've not ever done one before, but this year I wanted to try and do it. Um, and it's so fun to see all the different colors everybody picks out. So this is the one I'm doing, and you may have seen this before. I'm behind. I have not finished March. I have not done any of April. And they released May today. So <laughs> I've got a little bit of work to catch up. Um, but I'm using a variegated DMC for all this green and then the blue is just a straight DMC and then I'm using white. So they um, give you an alphabet so you can put whatever initials that you want in there. And at first I was like, well, I'll wait till the end. And I thought, no, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna figure out um, what some initials are I want to use and I'll just make a whole list and as I use them, I mark them off. So what I've done is used initials of women that have been an important part of my life. So my mom, my grandma, my sisters, good friends, aunts. Um, so that's what I did. I just started making a list and I'm just starting to put them in as we come out. That way I won't have it all to do at the end. And I think the white shows up well enough on here. I wanted something a little bit different, but not like really stark, um, really different. So I thought about doing black and I thought, no, that might be too much of a contrast. So I need to do some, spend some time on that. I may be working on that Tuesday because I've gotten behind on it. Okay, that's all the whips that I'm gonna be trying to work on in the month of May. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how far I get. Um, I'll try and do a video at least once or twice more this month. We'll see how life goes. But now I'm gonna show you um, the things that I've pulled out that could be new starts. So one of them is this Daisy kit. This is from Rovaris. I don't know if that's how you say it. This was a market um, kit and it has this gorgeous fabric. And it just takes three DMC colors of which I had one and that was it. But it has this cute little bucket that you put the top, you know, you cover this is what this is. It goes on the top of that bucket. Isn't that cute? So cute. So that's for sure one of the ones I'm gonna start. I just have to get the other DMC colors. All right. And then the rest of these, I'm not, other than what I'm starting this afternoon, I don't know. Um, this is another possibility. This is Rivaris, however you say it again. Um, home sweet home is what it says. And I've got heroic fabric. I don't remember if this is, yeah, picture this plus heroic fabric. So it's got some reds and blues in it. And so I'm just gonna pick out um, a nice over dyed blue and red to go with that, which I don't have yet. Um, and then I'll just probably use white, regular DMC white for the white of it. Another one I'm thinking about starting, I've seen a lot of people doing these and I love these houses. There's a whole series, this is the patriotic one, um, but there's spring, summer, Halloween, Christmas, winter, um, fall, Easter, there's a whole series. So I thought, well, and I think I have most of them, if not all of them. I thought, well, I'll start with the patriotic one because maybe if I work on it really hard, I can get it done for this 4th of July, maybe. But I'm gonna do them as, I'll do them on separate pieces of fabric, but I'm hoping to frame them in one piece. At least that's what I'm thinking. Another possibility, this is Hands-On Design Seize the Day. 
I just kind of went through my stash to see what I had kitted up or mostly kitted up. Um, this one I have fully kitted up so I could start it. Um, the last one I showed you, I don't have kitted up, but it was one that I wanted to. And I think these I have fully kitted up too. These are the salt boxes, Plum Street. And so I had seen on Facebook, somebody had done them um, in a long um, vertical. So they did all four of them. So there's four of them. There's spring, summer, <clears throat> autumn, and winter. And so they had done them in a long vertical, um, on a long vertical piece of fabric. And they had actually done the word, done some words in between each one. So they would do spring on once, the two spring ones with the word spring going up and down in between. So I'll have to see if I can figure out how to do that. If not, I'll um, just do them all together on one piece of fabric. But I think I've got everything I need for that. I know I have the fabric and I think I have all the threads too. And then the other one I've thought about starting um, are these square dance. This is heart and hand. And I saw this done. I was at Tulsa at um, Silver Needle last, was it last summer? I think it was last summer they were there. The last time they were there. Um, for their summer event and she had this done on a horizontal a long horizontal piece and it was really cute So I that's what I, what I'm gonna do and I think she even gives you a border to put around it. So there's This is January February March April May June July August September And October November December and so I'll put them all on one long piece of fabric and that'll be fun. So I really want to start that one. And I think I have most of the, I know I have the fabric and I think I have most of the threads. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to show you today is what I'm going to start this afternoon. And this, I saw somebody post it on Facebook or somewhere and I fell in love with it. I love hands-on design. And this is coming from the Inspired Needle. I don't know if you can still get on there and get it or not. Um, but this is by Hands On Design, and it's a club or something. So this is um, Apple and Sage. This is the first one. And you can get, if you want, the whatever you call it. I think they call it a horn book, but to put it on. And then it comes with the threads. So nice muted colors and then the fabric. So because I have everything for this for sure, this is what I'm planning to start this afternoon. So, but I love the colors on it and um, hopefully I'll be able to finish it and put it on here without too much trouble. All right, that is all I have to share with you today. Thank you for joining me. I will try and keep you updated more often on the, my progress and. This, if you look at it on this table, it's just like almost overwhelming. So hopefully I can get knock some of these works in progress out and make them completed. And then they can hang in my closet waiting to be framed or finished or something else. All right. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.